Hi guys, so here I am again. I had warned you guys that I'm on this video making binge as I'm decorating for Christmas. So here I have another short video for you. Um, it's such a fun project. I don't know about you guys, but I love snow globes. Um, it just takes me back in time. I remember as a little girl, I would always be fascinated with them. Um, I of course had the type that you had to shake and then watch it snow. And I used to do that all the time and then just wish I was little that I could actually be inside in that blizzard. Uh, so much fun. But I got this notion to try to make my own snow globe. Now this isn't the kind that has water in it. Um, I've done those before and I believe I did a video a few years ago on that. I'll try to link that down below in case you want to check it out. But I had used a jar uh, with some glycerin and water and glitter and created that shake type of snow globe. But the one I'm going to make today is not water. There's no water involved. It's just a glass structure with some blowing snow and I had a few difficulties that I ran into and I'll share those with you so that maybe it won't happen to you in case you decide to make something like this. So follow me along as I work on this and I'll try to kind of explain what I'm doing as I go. So I have quite the wild assortment of things here. Anything from lace to my hot glue gun. Uh, it looks like a cricket but it's just the box. Some glue, a gift wrap, uh, there's a little fan in the box here, some picture frames. I printed out this wintry scene here for my backing, ended up later changing it. I wasn't so fond of the bluish uh, tint to the picture. I of course need a base for my snow globe. I keep saying globe, but it's not a globe, but you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, I need a place to hide my fan, which I'm planning on using a fan to blow my snow up into the air, making it look like a little blizzard. It turned out this Cricut box was the perfect size uh, by the time I had my frames glued together, uh, just the perfect size to fit underneath my frame. So all of the white paper I'm using is actually tack board, I think is what you call it. It's like a heavier, heavier than cardstock, but kind of similar to that. 
here I had to reinforce my bottom edge where the paper is. Um, I had to keep in mind, you know, once I have this blowing snow inside this box, I have to make sure there's no cracks or anything for it to uh, escape. Here I'm creating my base for my little house to sit on and the tree that I plan to put in here. I of course need something that is strong enough to hold those pieces and yet I need to keep it open so that my fan is able to blow that snow around. Uh, so this should work with kind of a, looks like a window almost, and then just fill it in with the lace. So a few things I want to mention before starting this up. I didn't get everything on video that I changed, but first of all, the top here, I ended up adding some lace. Uh, to begin with, I just had a solid top, and I soon discovered that the fan needs a little more circulation in order to work properly uh, to get those little balls moving. And I also glued this base, like the frame, the picture frame part, I glued that onto my base. That way, uh, none of the little balls will escape uh, you know through any cracks and I also cut a hole in the back here that way I can just easily uh, you know put my hand in here to turn my fan on and off and I figured this would always be turned you know towards the back like you won't really see it and I ended up changing the lights on the tree I found some really pretty snowflake lights that I like better uh, put those on there uh, so let's start this thing up I've been using it for a couple of days and I absolutely love it um, the only thing is I'm having some issues with the little styrofoam balls are sticking to the sides like the more it blows them up they'll end up piling up you know along the sides here like on the glass and on the paper and I actually kind of like to see it I don't mind it that much but I wish there was a way around that because eventually I just feel like all of them might be piled up on there and what I just do is take my hand and just uh, brush them off again and I'm good to go. I did try to put some dryer sheets in here because uh, I feel like everything's really staticky inside and I thought that helped a little. Uh, I may, I have a few other things I want to try. And this little fan here I got off of Amazon. I'll link it down below in the description box but it's just such a cute little size. It has one of those USB plug-ins uh, so it's not a really powerful fan but it definitely seems to, to do the job. This fan has, you know, I can tilt it any way I want here. So if my snow does end up piling kind of in one corner or one side, I can always, you know, tilt it the other way and kind of get it moving, you know, another way. Um, it's definitely not a perfect project, but I've really enjoyed working on it. And it's just, I don't know, it just looks really cozy in here. I also thought it'd be kind of neat to have a little Bluetooth speaker uh, inside the, the base here and have some Christmas music going that would be really fitting with the blowing snow. So let's see what happens here. One thing I definitely want to mention is the snow has to be those tiny little styrofoam balls. 
Um, I had tried some other fake snow that did not work. I think these are really, really light. So that's why they work. I got them at Dollar Tree. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I wonder if it puts you in the mood for snow like it did for me. I'm usually not a huge fan of you know cold temperatures and some of that dreary weather we have here in Ohio, but I do love the snow when we get it. I have a few more short videos that I want to publish here in the next day, so make sure to watch for those. Um, as many of you know, I normally just publish every Wednesday, so this is kind of out of my routine to go in between like this, but it's so much fun. I just love to share the projects I have going on and hopefully be an inspiration to you uh, to maybe create some of your own. It's so much fun. I hope you're enjoying this Christmas season we're in as much as I am. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.